Uh, so I guess, uh, welcome. Uh, doing pretty interesting this season. Um, don't know if I'm going to make it to tier 20, uh, tier 27. I kind of, I'm kind of doubtful. Uh, let's go see what, let's see. I make 324 per match. So two matches, 350, 658. Let's go check, uh, rewards here. 658 on top of this. Uh, put six there is nine, so twelve nine. So and then that that's two for one hundred, and then the final one for fifty. Pro if I if I do it all right, probably get me in here, which is funny because that'll be the same uh, tier I got last time, which does make me wonder if uh, uh, I might get the red chair again. Like my ranking uh, will go high enough because I mean this is all last time on Astro season, uh, actually. There we go. As we saw last time on Astro season, um, we made it to tier twenty six, but we still we still got here, which is kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> I want to point something out though. Uh, all all season until like Friday or Saturday, I think it might have been Saturday. Um, I have been playing with her without these bonds here, so she's been at a minus five HP and like minus two to everything. Uh, and it was it was really weird because I was like losing matchups that I, I, I felt I should have won and then um, I checked and it's like yeah I forgot to switch over to uh, to her I find this system kind of interesting um, just just really quickly I guess as a small thing um, where is it uh, ally growth no it's interact with allies right okay uh, summoner support so I find the system very interesting because of course with the fate pass you get all three of them. But for me, the biggest concern was I only have really two, and you only need one every, like, you know, you need to alternate them through seasons. Um, and you can just switch them out. So if I go here, uh, if I go here, she'll get those buffs, like, immediately. I don't have to regrind the, the, the experience again, which is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, just as long as you remember to change that out. Um, of course, the Fate Pass has a few other... Uh, nice things uh, of course like tempest trials become easy when you have like the auto repeat function you just uh, clear them in like a day if you really wanted to um but yeah so let's let's get in here let's see uh what i can do here uh, i have no escape ladders like i said i was having a rough time uh in the first half of the the season um because she was so so weak compared to what she usually should have been um yeah it was just sort of tripping me out really hard uh, so we've got this. Ophelia's here. Uh, fortunately, Ophelia's are... So what I like about this season is there's, there seems to be a lot more Ophelia's on this season than there does seem to be on light season. Um, and that's good because this is the season I have Pulse Smoke on my, um, on my Felicia. So that that's very helpful for, uh, for, for that. Uh, I think the play here is to try to like push her, push Felicia here, uh, put Tethys here. So yeah, have Felicia here one turn, uh, smite her up here, have Tethys here. So she'll trigger this. I'll hit him, and then I'll dance him, dance her. Maybe come up here and hit uh, Lilina, and that should be decent, I think. Um, he's got pretty uh, beefy speed here. But yeah, we'll see this trap here is the main thing that's kind of concerning me. Uh, of course, Alm is pretty disconcerting as well. Uh, he'll hit me once, but hopefully I can just one-shot him right back with the, all the debuffs I'm going to stack on him. Uh, where And then, not to mention, this will help me kill um, Selif. So I'll have to wait till turn 3 to kill Selif with this because... Yeah, he's not fully maxed, so what is he? He's at 66. He's going to drop by 40 to 26, so I need to be able to do 27 damage on him. I think that should be fine. Uh, yeah, so let's go back. Again, uh, these, like, and I have no escape ladders now, so even with the 5 and, and, and with me complaining last time about uh, how uh, Aether Rage is getting a little easier, um, I'm still sort of uh, scrubbing out here. I really like this tile set on um, on light season when people use it because like flyers don't have to worry about this. Like this is just really easy. Um, 
So, I mean, now that I'm looking at it, the, the straightforward way feels like maybe I should just uh, barrel down this way and then take out their only dancer too. And then she can't... If I'm here and I hit her, she can't hit me. The problem is she can. But like I said, post smoke should take care of her. Hopefully I can kill him on the follow-up. Because uh, if he doubles me, I'm probably going to die. Um, yeah. He's gaining plus 10, right? Yeah, plus 10. Another plus 5, so he's like plus 15 defense, so he's at 48. Yeah, this uh, this elf is going to be pretty tricky. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to think maybe just barreling down this way uh, is the way to go. So I can snipe her. I can, well, if I clear this stuff out, I could snipe, uh, her, and then, like, just, like, draw back, or, well, nobody has draw back, but, like, reposition them out of the way or something like that. Uh, then nobody can hit anybody. Uh, these people can't move. He, everything's out of range. So, as soon as I'm here, no one can hit me. I think I'm just gonna do that. Let's just start, uh, getting people over there. I'll put you here, and I'll put you there. Oh, no. There. Okay. Uh, the only problem I have is like time. Hopefully, I can uh, do this fast enough. Um, usually, this—I mean, there's a reason why uh, you don't really want to do this very often. Um, but yeah, I kind of like the the odds here. Um. Yeah, I gotta stop making weird sounds when I'm recording. Do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, what did I lose? I lost nothing, basically. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so here's the plan. Let's see. Uh, we'll pop this. Uh, she'll stand here, dancer here. She'll stand here and snipe. So, okay, so then I'll have to, okay. Um, Okay, so originally I was gonna have her stand here and then wait till next turn and then have her move forward here, her stand here, flip her back. But I think the the easier way is just to like uh, have Tethys all the way up here and then I wait till next turn. So next turn, her move forward, snipe her, then Tethys dances her, and then I get behind Tethys and flip her over. Of uh, I think that's yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Let's go see if I can actually kill her. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be hard. Um. Okay. Yes. What she got? So she doesn't have enough uh, res. She's her res is too high to get hit by the the Tamari, and her HP. Well, her HP is fine, so I, I'm hitting her with the um, the sudden panic. But they're they're smart enough not to have any um, bonuses. Uh, why she's not getting hit by Tamari, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, plus six. And he, his HP... Wait, this is, uh, HP. This is 66 and I'm 67. It's kind of weird. I think I thought it said, uh, yeah, it says right here it should be as long as they're less than one HP. That's very interesting. Um, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, I guess maybe the uh, alternate is going to have to be, let's see. I can push someone here to snipe this, to, to hit this. Have her, have her come 
here and hit this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's not such a big idea. Good idea, anyway. Actually, so next turn, this is about to go off. So I think maybe standing here and popping this and then doing what I said, like kind of retreating would be good. And then um, like clearing this here and start moving uh, this way. So we can hit, or what about pop this and then have, and then like have her stand here, pop this and then dance and then forward and then hit her. This way I still get the, um, the cooldown reduction on her. Or the cooldown increase, I guess. I don't know, whatever you want to say. Um, and and the increase on him, too. Because they have infantry, fly, uh, infantry pulse, yeah. Okay. And her as well. Well, she'll, she'll just die, I think. Uh, hopefully, anyway. Uh, she's not. She doesn't have enough debuffs on her, which is the, the main concern here. Okay. Uh, my Felicia's only at 40-something. At 50... Five attack in comparison. I thought that was desperation for a second. I don't know why. As you say. Um, she's relatively safe. I don't think she's gonna die anyway. Um, minus seven, minus three. Minus three from this. Someone has a chill defense. Yeah, chill res. Consider it done. What do you have? Minus seven. Something's happening somewhere. It's all right. Oh, it's the uh, it's this. Yeah, forgot about that. Uh, what does this do? Okay. So she's giving that bonus to him, which is not that useful. Um. What do I do here? Yeah, I think I kind of like standing here and sniping her. Uh, Cause yeah, she'll get the cooldown increase. He'll get the cooldown increase. He's not gonna do much cause he has to go all the way around. <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, okay, yeah, my, uh, my nose gets kind of stuffy in the morning for some reason. Um, yeah, it's actually looking a lot trickier. I mean, maybe I feel like I'm starting to feel like maybe just uh, doing it the way I'd said originally is probably the better way to do it, but this is kind of late at this point, so yeah, because I mean, if I'd done it the way I had said first, right, she'd be here, I'd snipe him, he'd probably be dead, probably anyway. Uh, five, five, and he's not getting uh, panic for some reason. So five and five uh, gives me to 59 attack. He's got insane amounts of defense though, so maybe I wouldn't have killed him. Uh, well, I mean, at the very least, I could have hit here, stood here, hit him, uh, and then uh, used uh, Tethys and then danced her and then hit her, and that'd be one down. Plus, she's up two, he's up two, and he's back to two. Um, but yeah, so as it is now. We're kind of iffy, to say the least. Um, but I think the, the the my priority right now should be probably just be killing her. Um, so let's go see what we can do. Uh, we'll wait till next turn. Okay. My stupid ass dog won't shut the hell up. Um. Uh, okay, so yeah, I mean there was really no like even without the bolt tower it was basically gonna kill her anyway, but uh, There we go uh, So Ophelia is kind of basically neutralized uh, This guy is gonna be a huge pain uh, regardless so minus seven to basically everything um, seven here seven here so I guess it's just a matter of I'm gonna put you here Maybe, I, maybe I'll be able to bait someone over there, but let's see how this goes. This is sort of, again, like it comes back to uh, kind of mess it up originally there. Okay, 19. Okay, she's dead. Okay, so now I have vantage on everyone else. 
Um, 12, and I got double. Okay. Okay, so not too shabby, I think. Um, I had 240, 240 uh, Aether. Um, I only really need to take one. I already took one, so after that, everything else is uh, not worth it, right? So I can take this, this one here, get another 10. The next 100 uh, fight I do will get me another 20 if I get both of them. So I'll be at 30, and then the 50 fight I do at the end will only give me 10, so I'm only up to 40. So this is about as good as it can get. Um, but yeah, so we'll, uh, I won't stress about it too much here. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Um, so he doesn't have any debuffs, so he's gonna be a little harder to kill. Uh, let's put you here. Oh, okay, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I was like thinking about that for a second. I'm mean, he's just gonna die. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna put you here. So basically, this will give her the um, dragon effectiveness, uh, and then I can just uh, like launch her over there and have her kill him. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Um, I forgot to turn on our animations again. Uh, animations on. Uh, let's bounce you forward. He doesn't have a. Oh, just kill him in one shot. He doesn't have distant counter, so that's that's always a good thing. Like you just sit there and wail on him. Uh, so we're two twenty two twenty five. So I'm at 150. I'd be at 160. Uh, norm, uh, if I had gotten that other one, but that's okay. So we're at 8,000th 8, 8, place. So this is kind of a mirror of what happened last time, right? So I'm already at 8,000 on in tier 24 or 25 or whatever. Uh, if I go up a tier, that's like that could end up being like uh, you know 3,000 more points, right? So it's 5,000. So that would put me here, and then maybe that last 50 might help me get here but I don't know we'll, we'll see how that goes um, again it'll be very curious um, it's, it's yeah it's very curious to me how I guess like to me it's just it's 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 emblematic of how far behind uh, people are on Astro season so it's, it's good that like <laughs> I'm not the only one um, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier but like yeah so like you can see here my defense is doing pretty well and this is the Astro this is the anima defense uh, which is the one we'll talk about later um, but yeah, like again, this 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 did decently well based on like the fact that I did pretty poorly this this season. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, and I and when you don't, so it's it's good if you don't have an escape ladder, you don't really want to do um, hundreds at a time, right? Because if you have an escape ladder, the escape ladder usage one usage means more when you get um, the escape ladder means more when you're burning it for a hundred uh, aether, right? If you use it for 50, it's not as useful. Uh, so this guy's free to play, apparently. Let's see what he's got. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe him. Uh, you, you know, plus two, plus one, plus six. Uh, and for some reason, Altina's here. It's kind of weird. Uh, this one's actually pretty tricky because... Let's go over here. Um, yeah, this dancer is a nuisance. So basically, you don't want to be anywhere on this side. What is this? What does her spear do? Special trigger. So she gets this, and she just has uh, special trigger acceleration. Uh, gosh dang phone. Um. Yeah, this one's actually kind of tricky. Um. So my initial thoughts are: Felicia here, hit her. Uh, dancer forward and then hit her but getting the like her doubling me is gonna just uh, do, do serious damage um, so it's not looking like I'm gonna come out of this one super successful but we'll, we'll see how things go um, as long as she doesn't kill me on a double I'll be fine but uh, chances are she she can kill me on a double is the problem 
Uh, my biggest problem is going to be taking two hits from Camilla here because I can't counter her. But like everybody else, like she'll hit me twice, but I can just counter her and probably kill her. She's got very low defenses, and I'm hitting I'm hitting defense for um, you know uh, broadleaf damage. Uh, this one over here is going to be healing these, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad. Hopefully, I get into um, into vantage range um, because of her. Uh, because of her, uh, it's interesting that he has Hardy Bearing, or he or she has Hardy Bearing with Wrathful. No, not right. well. Sangrier has the uh, Falconot counter attack, um, which kind of defeats Hardy Bearing. I guess it's like you're running Hardy Bearing and as well uh, for Null Sea Disrupt. But like, if you're running Null Sea Disrupt, like, who are you? Yeah, it's just odd. Um, it's odd. Like, it's not for Bike, because Bike can't counterattack at all anyway, uh, because of the, the staff. And it's not for Vantage units, unless... Because you can't have Vantage and Null Seed just up at the same time, so it's just... It, it, it's odd. It's really odd. I was thinking about running Camilla, but she doesn't, like, add anything to my team on my Flyer Ball. Like, I have a plus one Camilla. I mean, it's not that much to brag about, but uh, I have her. Um, she just doesn't add very much, though, because... The main threat I have to deal with, right, is um, Bike. That's what I need that magical threat for, and um, Camilla doesn't really cut it. Um, so the plan with Ishtar here is that uh, they want to quad me. This doesn't seem too bad, I think. The problem being that all of these people attack twice. But she has low HP, low HP. Everybody here has low HP, so I think once I take her out and take her out, everybody else will be debuffed so much that uh, I can just one-shot them on the counter. On the vantage, uh, that's assuming I, 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 you know, I get vantage. Uh, so let's do that. Yeah. So really, that's my best shot. And if it doesn't work out, it's it's no big deal. Um, hopefully, the rest of these can um, can do something. Uh, we'll put you here. So turn one, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna stand you here. Uh, I'll put you here, and then uh, turn two, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna smite her forward here. <laughs> oh, actually, let's put her here. Uh, smite her forward here. Uh, hit her and then dance her and then have her move here and kill this one okay. of course. Um, and it's, it's interesting because like everyone here has already uh, I've already seen I mean I've shown off an example of what happened last time where uh, they just move and that's kind of what I'm paranoid about here, is them moving for no reason. Okay. So let's take a look at what kind of debuffs we're looking at here. Five, five, and that's about it. Uh, five and five. Five and five, of course. So everything, so everybody just has the Tethys, uh, the, the Tamari Dagger uh, debuffs. So let's do this. Okay, that was fake for some reason. I don't know who's gonna... I guess someone's expecting, like, Boki to stand here and then snipe her and then get danced or something and then snipe someone else. Ooh, that's not good. Um, yeah, that's that's very not good. Uh, and why does she have so much uh, defense? Because uh, da, da, da. I'm hitting her twice with the with the flower with the broadleaf fan, and she's not gonna take anything. Uh, which is uh, it's just pretty bad because damn, I can't kill anybody here. Oh, that's because they're all stacking wards. All right, go yeah, wards. Yep, the the wards have it. Okay. Hmm. Uh, also, one of the funny things about Felicia is you really don't have to worry a lot of the times about um, uh, Bright Shrine and Dark Shrine, as well as like uh, Chills. She doesn't have the highest like her her stats are all like low enough to to not worry about that stuff, which is pretty cool to me. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do here, actually. Um, I guess at this point, maybe just uh, dropping bodies would be a good thing. Um, the problem being that, what's her name there? Uh, Camilla. She can hit me and then get danced and then hit me again, which is really annoying. Um. 35. She has wow. She has very low speed. So with this, she's at 37. Uh, 37 plus this is uh, 41. 
So she's at 41 speed, theoretically anyway, as long as I'm counting everything right. Uh, 41 plus 3. <laughs> so she's at 44 speed. Um, and I'm at 45, so I'm not going to outspeed her for... Uh, well, I mean, she's not going to get the double on me the first time, but the second time, uh, this debuff is going to be cleared because she's going to be danced, and then she'll she'll double me. So I'm going to take three hits from her, and that's not something I can um, feasibly withstand. Mm. Okay. This is one of those things where I really feel like so special spiral is great on a on a Kranya and all, but it, it's always really tough having to make do without the um, the null C disrupt. Like it's just such a useful skill. Um, so her defense is thirty one. <laughs> hmm, this is interesting. What if we do this? Let's let's come over here. Yeah, because this isn't going to help because, like, I could wait for this, but this isn't going to pop anything. I need it on her. So I might have to, like, try this here. So snipe her. Like, stand here, snipe her, and then uh, dance her, and then snipe her from this side uh, after this hits. Um, the question is here, do I want to agitate this group right here let's move you out of the way actually don't want to agitate this because okay so let's say I'm gonna hit her the healing is not gonna come in she's gonna waste her turn healing her and then hopefully she'll be out of range uh, from her yeah from her to um, to not hit anybody and then they just kind of scatter uh, I think something like that might happen, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, this is a really bad idea, though. So, for those of you watching at home, <laughs> don't. Uh, I wouldn't suggest this. Okay. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is put her down here and then flip her back. Um, so basically, yeah, no one can survive after this. Um, I really do think this is going to be the trap. Because the main threat on their team is obviously going to be this here. Sometimes you just, like, you just really wish you had bike, honestly. Like, bike just, like, you just put him right here and you already won, um, basically. Uh, is it worth taking the gamble? Um... Ugh. I mean, I'm already in kind of deep is the problem. Okay. Let's see what happens, I guess. Okay, so she hits me for 2-7. So basically, this is the best possible thing that could have happened. Like, everybody, their AI just kind of spazzed out and did something stupid. Um, so she's doing that, she's doing that. She's coming over here doing who knows what. Uh, kind of vantage her for 60, which is pretty cool. Uh, so they're debuffed. Okay, so, like I said, best thing that could have happened right there was that. Um, well, to some degree, I think, because... Like, she's still going to be a huge threat. Of course. Orders, please. Um. Okay. Lead away. Ready. Okay. So this went decently well for me, but, uh... Let's see. If I, I can slide her this way... One, two, hit her there, then come up here, because she'll be standing here, and then flip her back down. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, let's uh, slide you this way. Of course. Hit you there. Uh, she has those three gold bricks on her head, um, but <laughs> I don't know why I haven't changed that. That's just kind of been there for a while. 
Um, so this is like, it's just an issue with the the formation here. Um, they didn't stick well enough, I think, uh, in general. Okay, how many turns do we have left? Four. Um, This music kind of reminds me of, um, okay, let's see, so I need to double her to do any significant damage is the problem here, right? Because, so let's see, I think I'll just snipe her, uh, well, oh shit, uh, the problem being, yeah, shit, um, So I can't dance Felicia is the problem here. Well, okay, okay, actually I can. So I can smite her here, here. Move one space up, hit her, right, I guess, or hit her. Dancer, uh, uh, move, Tethys will be here, so she can stand here and dance Felicia here. <sighs> and then hit her. Yeah, because I need her to be in vantage range, but I also need her to be able to kill any of these two. Uh, the other plan I can try is um, putting her here, uh, her here, and trying to see if I can kill her with uh, Altina. I don't think that's possible, but uh, that's a possibility. And then if if I can kill her with Altina, uh, I can just kind of focus on this. So she's gonna come into me and get vantaged right back. Uh, and then her too. So she has 27 defense. How much? So what am I doing here? So I'm not. I'm only doing 18 damage because I don't have any debuffs on her. Is the biggest problem. Um, and that was my concern. Is this here? Let's uh. Let's hit you. So now I'm in vantage range again. Altina's a very strong unit, but uh, she's not going to be as strong on defense. Um, it's really irritating having to deal with uh, her her little like nonsense uh, double attack thing, but it's not that big a deal. Okay, so I can vantage both of them, right? Okay, that's the good thing. So nothing, nothing out of the ordinary here. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, and neither of them have the white wing effect, which is good. Because uh, all she's going to do is hit me once, and then she's going to hit me once. But that's assuming they hit me at all. Um, the question is, who do I want to take out uh, first, really? Uh, seven, seven. Yeah, so basically this gives me 14... <laughs> So you can see how easily this stacks up, right? So 14 on her gets her up to 59, so 64. So she basically has 64 attack, um, which is, you know, it's great. Uh, and the, part, the the great thing about it is, like, it's not limitless, mind you, obviously, but it's, like, it's hard to, like, you can easily stack up to, like, 70, right, <laughs> is the uh, interesting part about it. Um, so let's see, we have this. Yeah, I guess I'll just hit her. I mean, there's no real reason to, like... Uh, dance around the issue here. Uh, 54 and uh, 52. One. Okay. Uh, and now we just let Vantage do whatever Vantage does. Uh, and turn. That's even without, like, mentioning the fact that, like, for one... 50, oh, she healed. That was pretty scary. Um, for one, you're 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 getting your attack increased by the amount of debuffs they have on them. But not only that, like you're also getting another seven on top of that because their defense is actually reduced by seven, right? So it's pretty crazy. So I'm already on top 4K, right? So if, I think if I if I do fine on this next one, um, I might be able to get the red share again. Just kind of interesting. Again, it's like it's it's weird that we all do very poorly on this season. Um, 
but yeah, so my so this will come out today being Monday, uh, and then the uh, other one, the defense analysis will come out tomorrow on t on Tuesday. Um, da -da -da. Okay, that looks fine, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I always like you. Just I don't know. You just get kind of nervous, but like you always want to check it. Um, this defense doesn't really have a whole lot of. Str oh my gosh, this is yeah. This is one of those defenses where it's like I just want to show off my plus ten little guard. Gosh damn. Um, yeah, this looks pretty scary. Um, fifty four defense. I mean, look at that. 54 defense plus uh, I get dropped by another six, so it's basically 60 defense. So 66 defense. And if this triggers, that's 73 defense. That's that's nonsensical uh, at at best. Um, fortunately, she's locked down because whoever did this didn't really care about uh, whatever. That's our turn if you need not just into an ally. You can be only extra. Turn. Yeah, okay. So that's all right. I guess the question is how I'm going to do this. Are these two mountains here kind of irritating? Um, I really want to take out this. So maybe going this way and taking this out here might be a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, I have to do it through. I have to do it right here. So I probably have to test out this trap. Stand here, pop this. Uh, who has Hardy Bearing? Neither of them do. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of look at all these empty C slot passives and and not one Hardy Bearing on this team. Um. So and then also the great thing about this team, right, is I don't use any bonuses. Yeah, I don't use any bonuses, so like cleaner isn't gonna do very much to me. And I'm just gonna destroy this guy here. <laughs> um. Dragon bind. So she, he is going to give her and her visible buffs, which means, which is good for me, because that means that they're losing more attack and more speed. So they're actually losing five and five. They're losing ten attack and speed, uh, which is great, because wow, that's a very slow. That's a very slow uh, Roy. That's very weird. I've never seen a Roy this slow before. Even well, I mean, my plus ten Roy is is faster than that. But that's because he's plus 10, obviously, and I gave him uh, speed refine. Okay. So right off the bat, these two mountains here are already kind of like <laughs> limiting me to a pretty large degree. Uh, actually, and I just realized that maybe this is a little, uh, a little, <sighs> maybe this is a little easier than I thought it was going to be. Like, let's think about this. Like, what is putting Altina here <laughs> not going to do? Um, is my question, basically. So they can't kill Altina, because they're going to hit once, but, like, they have weapon triangle disadvantage, and I have her on this. You might, for those of you who might be asking why I even have that on her, uh, it's because she's been dying to, uh, Thrasir's left and right, like, uh, it's nobody's business. Um... Yeah, it's a, it's a weird state of affairs when uh, your red Altina just gets marked by uh, green Thrasiers for some reason. Um, I mean, it's not for some reason. It's like, she's a very strong unit, but still, it's, it's one of those things that's, that's excessively irritating. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like that's the, that's the game plan, right? Just put Altina right here, tank everything and kill all of them. So he's going to come up and attack me. Uh, he's got pretty gnarly defense is the it's one of those things that um, Kind of bothers me though. I am going to have 37 plus this gives me 37 43 I'm gonna have 43 defense and he's gonna have like No attack Fortunately, it doesn't like one of the things about this is like It doesn't overlap your buffs like it doesn't say oh if you like the, the the panic anyway it doesn't say oh if he has a plus six just give him a minus six um which would still give him his passive bonuses from bonus doubler like the the sudden panic actually turns the buffs into debuffs so after like 
he's not getting any buffs from that whatsoever. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to like do that. Uh, so let's not overthink it here. Uh, you always want to... I'm going to wait a turn actually though. Um, just to make sure I get all these... To take a look at all these debuffs going on. So minus 5 on everybody which is good. Well, maybe I should just go in there because these, these debuffs will be in place like as soon as um, the turn starts. Their turn starts. Um, but uh, I've lost a few times before and this is just sort of a heads up. It's like... I've lost a few times to Ophelia teams uh, with this team because I try making a move on the first turn. The problem is Ophelia is not always charged on the first turn, right? She gets all these like charges when their turn starts, not your turn, um, which is, is can be problematic. Is, is the problem? Um, and then she just she just uh, proceeds to one shot you anyway. Uh, so that that's something that I thought was interesting and, 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 and important to to keep in mind when you're doing that like not just like take the pull smoke and be like oh yeah, yeah that's fine um <laughs> but yeah so let's see what this does uh duh, duh, duh. Uh, let's do move you this way okay Let's see how this goes, I guess. I wanted to pause this like you do in like the defense recaps. Uh, so she gets the double on me, so five, and then does even less than... Oh, I don't know why she didn't get the... Um... Do I not have debuffs, I guess? I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, she does zero damage to me, or he does zero damage to me. Uh, so this one turned out to be a lot easier than I kind of thought it would be. Just like... Just drop Altina. And this is something you want to like consider uh, always, right? Is th the possibility that like, like the idea that you like, you know, on on Astra, like they're always going to have Altino. Well, they should anyway. I mean, um, you know, at the level we're playing, at the level you play at to get to tier twenty-seven, they should always have Altina. Uh, and then this is good because now I'm not going to go fight him, but I can just bait him over here. Um, Uh, these two can hit me, and she's just going to sit there. Uh, she's going to be my biggest problem. Uh, I really need to figure out what I'm going to do about her. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, she's, she's not going to be very good. Uh, it's not, she's not going to be a good time overall. Uh, she can take him, too. Uh, just fine, I think. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what's mine at? Mine's at a plus three. That's actually pretty disgraceful. Plus seven, that's a very good. Um, Fjorm there. Um... I've been wondering that I, I feel like a plus speed Fjorm. Yeah, I think that was my fault. I really should have. Uh... Oh, okay, there we go. That's free. Uh, so basically, I think I won at this point. Um, doesn't seem to me <laughs> to be any if ands or buts about it. Uh, the biggest threat was her, and, and she's she's taken care of. See, minus six, so they get the three from something, <laughs> and I don't know what that other one is. Um. Yeah, so basically, uh, for some reason, I got paired down really hard for this last match. I mean, this would have been actually even... This actually would have been an easy match if I needed to get all those... Um, ooh, she's not going to die. <laughs> um, yeah, I should be fine, I think. Yeah, so I mean, like, I could have even popped these and, and still been fine. Like, she popped that, Dancer popped that, and then, you know, do whatever from there. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, the only person who survived that shouldn't have was him, because, like, I decided to bait with her, and I should have thought better than that, because then um, she, like, she could she could survive it, right? But she wouldn't have killed him. Um, but who knows? Um, 
no no point in uh, talking about what ifs. Uh, let's move over here. Uh, you don't really have anything else to do. Okay. So 18 for two. Uh oh. Ooh, this is bad. Eleven, eighteen. Oof. Oh, okay. Well, I was worried there for a second. Um, that is one tanky lady. Uh, let's go see what we can do about her. Okay, so she's gonna die anyway. Uh, why was she t so tanky? F wow, forty-seven defense. Oh, is she uh, the bonus? Yeah, she's the bonus unit, idiot. Um, okay, <laughs> yeah, that that makes sense now. Uh, I could have killed her with her, but let's give it to Felicia because uh, we like Felicia here. Um, yeah, that's that's it, I guess. Uh, just hit her, and uh, I think that gives us our second red chair. Uh, this separation between the two. Uh, seasons is pretty interesting like the, the 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 difference in performance to like what's going on <laughs> it's very interesting uh tier 26 oh i didn't make it i think i'm what 32 something where am i no yeah i, I barely missed it that's sad but uh that's all right um like i said i didn't have too good a performance this season um i don't think i deserve the red chair even if i did it would have been a pleasant surprise i think but um uh, yeah, I had, there was a few things that uh, didn't go the way um, they should have gone if I was paying more attention or if I was being more meticulous. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, at least we got uh, all three final matches. Uh, pretty interesting. Um, yeah, that, that's about it for today. Um, we didn't get the red chair, didn't get tier 27, but uh, close enough, I think. Um, defense did pretty well. We'll talk about that uh, tomorrow, but... Uh, Pretty, pretty well, I'd say. Um, again, it's always important to consider. Uh, I was kind of, what was it, um, trailing behind in terms of uh, uh, score throughout the initial season, right? So other people who were doing better on offense had higher score, and they would have like fought against me if I was in their bracket. But since I was kind of trailing behind a lot, um, ended up not happening. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, sit for today, uh, tomorrow. Look forward to that.